Oh no, dupe detected, object deleted. I was really looking forward to the chance to uh, trying out some more rifles, getting a side gig in arms manufacturing and potentially sale on the box. But I suppose easy come, easy go. Hello everyone, and welcome back once again. Two voices of the void and something is rat rattling in the vents again and knowing that that may have been the final fate of my previous uh, co-worker I don't know I'm constantly going to be looking upward instead of just outward and behind me now as you can probably tell from that start I have updated to the newest experimental version of this game uh, which fixes numerous bugs chief among them the cable bug so I'm hoping that if we come upstairs we'll be able to use appliances such as the microwave uh, grab you. Uh, it's still kind of locked in place. Uh, hang on, maybe if we drop you here and pick you up. Uh, but you are actually working correctly now. Excellent. Uh, our, our thing now works perfectly. I don't know how that trash got inside. I'm pretty sure I didn't put it there. I didn't even notice what looks to be a bloody handprint on the wall before. You know, that's what I love about the new base, and I know people are torn on it, but you're just constantly discovering new things as you go, because of the size, because of the clutter. Even once you think you've come to know it, you realize that you really don't know anything. Oh god, I am starving. Uh, hang on, wait. I've definitely got stuff in my inventory. Yep, now is a perfect opportunity to try microwaving one of these burgers. Which I don't think does anything, but, you know, it'll be fun. Yep, just uh, leave it on the floor. Put you in. Oh, uh, look at that heavenly glow coming from within. Uh, we are absolutely dying here. Come on, slam it shut. Uh, use... Set to ten minutes. Activate. Oh no, you can't fool me. Activate. Oh, I guess the door's not already closed. Activate. And you should be good momentarily. We really do need some sleep, though. I mean, everything is kind of in the red right now. And it's not even because the game's too difficult. It's simply because I've been so invested that I've been neglecting all my needs. Um. Beautiful. Yeah, you guys can go now. And if we check our book, Quebec Mike Delta, we are good to go. All right, so let's uh, just tear that off and we can send it out before bed. You know, before when I didn't really know what I was doing, it felt like time really passed at a snail's pace. But now that I do, I'm kind of noticing a, a weird effect where things seem to move slowly in the moment, but in broad strokes really quickly. A week passes in an instant, and an hour takes months. Away you go. And just because uh, drone speed doesn't seem to be affected by sleeping, it's a better use of our time if we start some other signals up while we wait. But man, I am just so excited. It feels like a whole new world. I have also been forgetting our first job for the night or rather our first upgrade, is definitely going to be the automatic processing module, uh, which we will very shortly be able to afford. I, I was watching the previous episode and I was getting so annoyed with myself for not taking it straight away. I mean, there's so many other things that could have waited. Oh, but uh, speaking of things that shouldn't wait, I've got to make a lot of inventory space. It is not smart of me to be carrying all this stuff around. That's why I'm constantly full. So, early on, we're going to be getting all our little desk buddies gathered up up here. Come on now. The ramp can be a little unforgiving. But there, now you can watch over us, and the Wendigo watches the other way. Uh, seems like the drone managed to get back already. Very interesting. The sounds of space are fascinating. Uh, package successfully delivered and package successfully delivered. So we are going to grab that automatic signal processing module just in time, too. We can actually do some science. Will you automatically start right there? Nope. Uh, because there is a level cap switch. 
and we start you once more, and these will do it automatically from now on, meaning that we don't have to feel as bad about leaving the base for extended periods of time, because a lot of this will kind of run itself. And we may be in need of upgrades, but you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking earning the points for those upgrades will be so much more bearable if we have a living space of our own, don't you think? So I'm doing it. I'm buying the TV. And I'm sick of sitting under these oppressive, I don't even know what you'd call it, lighting, but it's very, very bright. And I need something more atmospheric at night. So we will go into miscellaneous. Uh, where, where would this be? Deco. Glow stick. You know, I'm actually torn between red and green. I kind of want this to look like a, a submarine control room or something. I'm going to go with green for now because it's the classic glow stick look. And that is about, uh, it's actually a little bit beyond our budget. There we go. We just got rid of all the stuff we needed and kept all the stuff we didn't. Because you know what? My priorities are in order. And it's my show to run. And besides, what does it matter? There's still plenty of drives strewn about. Still plenty of boxes, I'm sure, in storage somewhere. Uh, which reminds me, we're gonna eventually have to start breaking open some of these crates. I'm surprised. We're three episodes deep and we haven't started doing that yet. But <laughs> the good thing about sleeping through the day is you get a spooky sleepover at night. There you go. Oh, maybe it does actually increase your speed now. And look at that, we walked away and you are already done and ready to listen to. That sounded very vocal and this is an object. This is one of those times where you wish you had the better image processing. All right, you can go right here. Uh, and I do have some more drives to plop down. These stacks, you just never know how many you're carrying. I mean, you explicitly do know, but I don't look at it. <laughs> There's our TV, all ready on, apparently. And there are my files already sitting there and waiting. That's the cool thing about this game having, like, uh, app data files, is that, like, normally that annoys me in games, because you can't keep it all as one single install. But the upside is that your stuff is preserved between versions. But who needs a degree when you have television? And once it gets a little darker, we'll be putting that to use. We are also going to go get our glow stick. And these things have a really neat feature to them. Not only do they actually give off their own dynamic lighting, but we can take them and simply hang them up right over our place. Come on. Yep, there we go. And now if we come over here and turn off the light... See what I mean? We've got our own little command center. It's just like in the movies. I feel like I'm hunting for Red October. But now all there is to do is wait and see what the state of our servers is. I'm actually getting adventurous. I kind of feel like doing some nighttime exploring. I mean, maybe, uh, maybe we can find out if there's any cryptids out there. Oh, look at that silhouette up there. The dark shapes of the towers as the sun dips below the horizon, the trees accompanying them. And just the red glow from their peaks being the only thing that will remain once it's fully gone. This game certainly does have a way of making the most of its imagery even unintentionally. I don't know why trying to use the computer caused me to teleport out of my seat. Uh, but there was... Uh, oh, right, the cameras. I had completely forgotten to check if the photo zoom works. Oh, and it looks like it actually does, because that is a much zoomed-in photo from here, even if it does appear to be the same angle. Okay, that is very, very useful to know. 
I mean, the fog just completely diffused the flash, which should have made no difference, but hey, at night? At night, it's going to be a different story. Can't believe that's ours. <laughs> but you know what? We have to make more of this place ours. So slowly but surely, oh, it's nighttime, time to turn the hallway lights on. Oh, where is it? Slowly but surely, we're going to start cleaning this whole thing out. I'm going to start investing much more heavily in garbage bags. Because this is straight up ridiculous. Yep. It's so satisfying to just slowly see this place transform, you know? Or not. <laughs> I mean, you can choose to leave it a mess. I left it a mess for a long time in Season 1. But already, I mean, our workstation is certainly very different from how it was, isn't it? Just so much limitless potential. I think the big thing in games is emergent storytelling. That's what really leaves an impression on people's minds. The ability to forge your own story as you go. And this game is fantastic for that. Just, you know, give the players a set of tools and a large list of things that can happen. And they'll do the rest. And conversation will do the rest. Because if there's one thing players love more than experiencing these stories, it's sharing them. I mean, that's the whole point of this series, isn't it? Uh, but let's see what's on the tube now that it's getting late. Uh, I'm thinking, why don't we just uh, lower the volume and set it to loop, right? Uh, so let's start. How about some World's Wildest Police videos? Wow, trying to do this from the chair really doesn't work. There's a signal. By the way, starting now, I'm going to be leaving in like a lot more doing the job. Because doing the job has just gotten so much more atmospheric. Some of you had asked me towards the end of the previous series to just kind of do like a minimally edited episode of this. This might be that one. I'm still just constantly looking out at that area over there. Waiting to see if those explosions will come back. I, I figure it has something to do with that fairy ring. But I just, I can't make the connection. I have no idea what that connection would be. In fact, uh, just for reference, if it ever comes up. Let's try taking a picture of that area. Let's see how it came out since we're right here. Eh, kind of dark, but I think that's kind of the appeal of this. I mean, you go running out there trying to see all these things, and then you come back to your computer, and you really never know if it actually tells the story you thought it was telling. I mean, to me, this is a horrifying look at something peering back that I don't understand just beyond my window. If somebody else were to find this, they'd be like, what was he looking at? Just so ominous, clearly a deliberate angle, but it almost looks like an accidental misfire. Ah, you're ready? Come on now. There we are. And you, sir. Oops. I always miss this. The The most difficult part of the job for me is the frequency filter. And it's not even that it's difficult, it's just I always miss it. I never feel like I'm doing it efficiently enough. Like I could be faster. But I'll tell you what probably couldn't be faster is this download speed. I mean, this thing, even at only like half upgrades, is extremely fast. Oh, I think you're just looping the same thing. Wait, is there... I think what I need is shuffle. There we go. And let's just skip you straight to the end. Are you not going to let me do that? Alright, we'll just let you play then. Right, we'll just let that play then. Look at you, Artalter. <laughs> 
just half of your face bathed in that greenish glow. It's odd, by seemingly downgrading the lighting of this place, it almost feels like I've made it more official. Like it looks more like what you'd expect something like this to look like, doesn't it? But I just can't help but imagine that vent above me. How did that guy even get up there? I think I need to do more exploring. And what did happen to- I mean, let's, let's not pretend we don't know. There was a bone up there, but the weird thing is, just one bone? That's something I've been thinking about ever since. Like, it's almost like that tells the whole story at first, that they went crazy, got up there and starved to death, but there was food up there. W weren't there MREs up there? Just that one vent cover was slightly out of place. What? All that stuff fell down from there, including something that exploded. I don't even know what that was. Was it maybe deliberately left that way? And then, like, booby-trapped? Like, he figured maybe something would know he was up there, and he wanted to make sure nothing could come up after him? Well, I didn't see any other openings that scared the crap out of me, but maybe maybe something did find him and didn't come from the way he expected. Christ, this would scare me so much. I would constantly be thinking he's like peering down from the ceiling tiles above me or that he's hiding in that basement or that bunker or something. Alright, well, uh... I'm not sure what else to do in the meantime, I and mean, we can give that a listen, but you know, we'll start the next thing first. I want to have things queued up. I think now is our opportunity to do that. We're actually really hungry as well. Let's have another of these burgers. Mm, I must have already taken some bites of that one. It didn't do much. There is such a thing in this game as uh, hunger fatigue, where certain foods uh, you're player character will refuse to eat them if it's like all you've eaten for a long time. So as soon as we get some more income, we'll start ordering some better food. We'll start storing some things long term. I think there's still some stuff in the fridge. Plus we could try eating that fungi that we found in the fairy ring, but is that really a good idea? Oh my god, I've forgotten about that. There's something so disturbing about this like fantastical, whimsical product. And he, he, even without such haunting images presented in such a matter-of-fact way, just hearing the information that that product was recalled, this to me is analog horror done right. I, I tend to not really enjoy stuff that uh, th that's like ARG format. Like, it can be cool, but I think so many things just require too much investment. But tell you what, I'm going to get a little bit of sleep. And once midnight comes and goes, we'll have a look at what the jobs are and go for a night drive. What do you think? In the meantime, let's uh, pause this. <laughs> Fitting that it pause on the FBI warning, considering the uh, questionable legality of me showing some of these things. But, you know, content ID is content ID. What they don't know won't hurt me. I've just got to keep all the lights on at night in this place. There's just no other way to do it. Uh, also, let's check. What do we got in the fridge? Uh, oh, there's still some chocolate. There is still some chocolate. If the drone shows up, we'll know that... Midnight came and went. What was that? Every time I sleep, I feel like I hear noises from outside, and it's so unnerving every time. Yep, there's our drone. I think it also auto-saves at midnight, every midnight. Can't use the sink. But I think now would be a good time to head out. I say because it'll be fun to head out when it's not a good time to head out. Oh, God. I need to get this stuff out of the way. The storage closet is... Very useful. I, you know, it would not have surprised me if I had bumped into a tall sheet ghost that I didn't notice until the last moment. This time it was just uh, privacy blind, but you know, you never know. All 
interesting. Okay, but we are just stacking you guys up. Uh, and we've already got another one ready to go. And I'll just throw you on there. Without a worry in the world. Let's check our job before we leave. Oops. Daily task. We need Oscar Quebec Mike. Man, Mike is real popular recently. And three signals of level three, which we will have by the time we get back. But I'll queue up another just to be sure. It's so cool at midnight to be getting a head start on the next day. Maybe the next thing I should work on is the cooldown. Look at those things whirl around in their place. After compression, I don't know if you'll even be able to see that. But just the thought of these huge metal giants moving around in the dark. It's little comfort to know that it's all at my command. Almost seems like there's something that could turn on me at any time. Okay, I need... You know what I need? I need a safety glow stick. I need a safety glow stick that I bring with me into here. Uh, SB ping. Let's see if anything is down now. Romeo is down. And oh, wow, wow, a whole bunch of them are down. Okay, uniform, Sierra, golf. What was that noise? I at first thought I failed it, but I didn't. Okay, that was freaky. I'm thinking we go Quebec, Mike, Sierra, Oscar, Uniform. And that'll take us on a nice little loop around the base. I think that'll be a real cool way to go. And as loath as I am to do this, <laughs> but not really, let us ride. I'd only just remembered that we can lock the door to this bay so that leaving the garage bay open doesn't leave us completely defenseless. And let's just uh, move our drop for the night. And see what we can do. Man, I really wish this thing had like rights or something. Like something to really shine the light away. But man, it is eerily silent. All I can hear is my own engine and the babbling brook below me. Was this log always in the way? I'll have to see if I can destroy that with my crowbar later. But I swear I've been down this road like many times. And when I see lights in the distance, even though I know that there's light posts out here, like occasionally, it still gets a reaction every time. Like it's just so out of place. But we should already be at Quebec. The worst part of this, and it's the reason I need a safety glow stick, is using up the flashlight. Even if it is full. Whenever, I don't know what it is, the sound of the wind and the crickets, whenever I'm walking up the sides of these towers, there's something about it that makes me feel like I'm there. Like all of a sudden I can just feel the breeze, I can smell the air. Something strange is happening to Mike. I'm kind of afraid to be here, not gonna lie. I don't know if you fully fixed the dupe glitch. I think you fixed one dupe glitch and caused another. Unless I somehow did this like with the progress that I made. Let's get that hash code. I probably only have to close one of you for this to be secure, right? I mean, honestly, I have no idea what's going on with this. But this is the kind of game where I actually get excited about bugs because... Eh, they spice it up for sure. I mean, not the microwave. That wasn't spicing anything up. That was the problem. Okay, yeah, no, no, no. I feel... I. 
I definitely just heard something behind me. And I know it could be pine cones falling. Last season, you guys were making fun of me for so long, jumping at every little thing and being like, Chris, it's just the pine cones falling. Ha ha ha. Well, now I'm not so sure, especially not after hearing footsteps in the tree line when I went to go investigate the explosions. Which, by the way, imagine uh, imagine playing the previous couple sentences to somebody who has never heard of this game or seen gameplay. Are you going to also have double doors? You... <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be a thing now, isn't it? I think this is Sierra. Yeah. All right. Well, let's fix you. Uh, two minus four is negative two. Eight, nine, five, twelve, two, uh, negative six, and ten. See, you made a normal completion noise. Oh God, we're going back to uniform. Yeah, I just realized that we're heading back to uniform, which means that's where that's where our mannequin friends are piled up. There's just something about that site that feels so cursed now. I mean, I just keep getting the impression they're not going to be where I left them eventually. I just remembered one of you had a really awesome idea for what we should do, provided the mannequins are still behaving. So once we get there, we'll c2 that oh one other problem with th oh my god something's something's rolling out there something's rolling we're on a hill so that actually leads me to more believe that it's a pine cone a very heavy pine cone but you can very easily end up rolling downhill is that path or is that it's it's the river yeah so this is why we have to be careful oh and oscar is right here Thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I recognize this one anywhere because Oscar is the one that sits right in front of the beach. It just seems like the nights never last long enough in games like this, you know? Like, it's the spookiest, coziest part, and... Oh my god. And, yeah, no, 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 no. I'm not even gonna bother to look around because I know that if I whip around, I'm gonna end up diving headfirst into the trees and then I'll be stuck and then I'll be really unable to do anything about whatever's chasing me. Whatever being a pinecone, of course. Still a skeptic, remember? <laughs> Who am I kidding? But, yeah, here's uniform. And there you are. <laughs> you know, the weird thing is, as I approach this, the last thing I didn't want to see was no silhouette on this landing. Which is a funny headspace to occupy. Hey, there are you. <laughs> Let's just turn you around there. If you're going to work for me, you got to dress the part. There's a strict dress code in these parts. And some of you told me that these things, these bow ties that we found, are actually attachable. So let's try it, shall we? Ah! It, it doesn't seem to work, sadly. Let's try holding it in our hand and doing it. No, it doesn't work. Uh, vo Voices of the Void devs, please let us attach things to mannequins. I don't know how technically possible it is. I think we did it with a glow stick. I'm pretty sure we did it with a glow stick. And happily, it seems the rest of your friends are still here as well. Oh, God. We are so low on fuel. Man, can you imagine running out of fuel in the middle of the night out here? Like, far from base? I mean, worst case, we carry it the last distance, but... Man, at least now we know that we only have to wait a few hours in the in the worst case scenario. But I have not been keeping on top of keeping this thing fueled. There is an upgrade you can get that uh, causes it to be solar powered, allowing it to slowly regain fuel throughout the day, which means you pretty much never have to buy fuel again, but we are not at that point yet. It's expensive and there's other things I want first. Maybe we can save some fuel by allowing gravity to pull us down this hill a bit. 
Uh, seems to be working so far, but uh, these fences and the bushes are not helping me out any. And I'm stuck and I'm hearing stuff all around me. I am distinctly hearing footsteps and I'm low on fuel. And the sun's still not out yet. Roll, roll like your life depends on it, which it very well might. Go, ah. Uh. I think we're due for a nap after that one. I can never seem to get enough sleep. But that is our job done for the day, so we can send that out before we do. 7 a.m. So good. Give this thing a listen. Sounds innocuous, but there was definitely a burst in activity at one point. Hang on, it's another one of those drawings. Oh, and some more garbage bags, so that's useful. And some more fuel, so that's even more useful. Wait. SG was here. I mean, it's a different shock, but... Maybe SG is a co-worker? Maybe was is the operative word here. I'm just looking around for some additional boxes before I send for more. Oh, there's actually a whole bunch of these. It seems like it started to rain as well. Oh yeah, we can definitely get rid of a lot of this clutter. And we can do it all while just relaxing. I'm actually going to turn out the lights in this hallway now. And just kind of enjoy this atmosphere. It may even be worth seeing if I can find, like, a patio chair or something and just leaving it. Look, we can see, like, the rain bounce as it hits the glass. Look up at the tower blinking above us. And we can just sit here totally safe and cozy and enjoy the thunderstorm. Alright, I do, I do have some work to do, though. <laughs> Even if it is picking up in intensity and therefore scariness. I suppose we don't have to totally forgo this and miss out on it. I mean, there is work to be done in this hall, and we were just basically gifted the means to do so. So why not do it? Some of you had the really cool idea of blocking off this doorway and turning this into a sort of panic room that's only accessible by the uh, elevator. Which is a really cool idea because from below, you might not even be able to see this elevator. Like, you might not be able to tell that, like, this isn't just more ceiling. The only issue with that that I foresee is that you're basically cornered in that event if something does realize you're up here. I mean, imagine you hear something enter your base, you have no idea where it's gotten off to. You're up here huddling, listening for any sound, but you just haven't heard anything for quite a while. And then you just see the lift slowly start descending. I still keep hearing sounds from in here. And see, the odd thing is, maybe it's the server sounds, or maybe... Maybe every once in a while, on a dark and stormy night, there's still movement in that vent above the server room that I know once housed someone. Someone very much like me who saw something he shouldn't have and went missing as a result. And the fact that we don't have the means to even ask out about this, that we can't get any validation in what you're seeing, that is so creepy to me. The fact that they can contact me, but I can't contact them. Which makes me wonder, like, do they know? Is that the whole idea? Some of you have speculated that maybe all of this is just some kind of test. That's why there's so much turnover. That's why there's so much evidence of previous people who haven't shared anything about this place. But I'm letting myself starve in the name of science again. I'm actually eyeing that chocolate bar in the fridge. I mean, I've still gotta... I've still gotta sleep. But maybe I'll get a little bit of a head start on that. 
Oh my god, this thing is huge. Can't just eat it right out of the fridge like a rat, no problem. Now, this is just me trying to be as efficient as possible. And understanding that this is a game, of course, and not just real life, and not something that I would totally do given the chance. But is it possible to use coffee in such a way, and chocolate, where you never have to sleep? That's definitely a question on my mind. You are starting to smoke a bit. Uh, what's your health like? Eh, 88, you're fine. But I'll tell you what, I just noticed something else. No, no, no. What did the previous occupants experience? Was it all this guy, or is it literally everyone who's ever held this post? And for that matter, just how did this job open up to begin with? Like, the more time you spend here, the more you start to feel like there's something they're not telling you. And what's so cool about that is that it's not a story that's gradually revealed. It's just a matter of the contrast between what you may or may not find during your travels and while well, exploring the base, and the absolutely friendly, absolutely professional tone of these emails. That professionalism that just doesn't at all match with what you're seeing with your own eyes. But we've got all that. I can't do anything without a full report. I did it. I did it. There's probably a typo somewhere. But do I do I not get, like, any points as a result? I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, we have listened to this recording in the early hours of the morning. And I swore I heard something dreadful behind the noise. Something otherworldly. That said, I haven't been sleeping very well. Working extremely odd hours just to finish all my tasks. So perhaps there's a more mundane explanation for this. Dr. Ken, maybe... Maybe we're two of a kind. Oops. Oh, we've got another drive to listen to. That is... Mic taps from space. They seem like nothing until you realize they must be something. The lights just flickered. Uh, I'm gonna run a little TR check before I send our garbage out. Uh, TR... I'm so annoyed we didn't get those power things. Oh god, TR0 is about to go down. SB target TR0. We need to get out there ASAP. Like, immediately. Or else I'm going to have to go into that basement. <laughs> That's the thing that I'm most worried about. We're going to fix it, then we're going to have to go into the basement to reset the power. Uh, you, 32.2. Good enough for now. Good enough. And this, I'm happy to be doing during the daylight, because the, the risks are much higher losing power at night, to say the least. But I'll tell you what's not at risk of going out. Glow sticks. So maybe there is some practical utility to that after all. I mean, the last thing we want is to be sitting there one night, totally unaware that it's about to go out, and just suddenly be plunged into absolute darkness. Why would I be paranoid about that? That's never happened to me before. Never. These things were all holding up so well for so long, and now all at once they've lost a ton. I wonder if maybe those storms don't actually have something to do with it. 
I'm actually gonna start collecting these discs. Uh, basically, you insert those discs into the servers, and it automatically repairs them, so you don't have to do it. Uh, anything behind you? What is that? Huh, it's just like a branch, maybe? Or like roots? Or some giant hunk of metal. What is it doing here? And blocking the handicap space. Uh, which reminds me, I should probably move on. To be honest, I'd be happy for any visitors. But now that that crisis is averted, for now, I should still be visiting the other ones today. Uh, let's take care of our needs. Now, you are just about ready to go. Yeah, we're, we're actually running low on space inside the box, which hopefully means we're going to get a lot of money. Oh, there's a whole bunch more points for our trash. Oh, good god, that was a decent amount. Okay, we are going to upgrades, and we are improving server stability, uh, because it may be free points, but it's also a lot of running around. So, server stability, give you... Ah, uh, that's actually a lot of points, wow. We are getting ourselves a drive rack, just to help keep ourselves organized in this early stage. Uh, that's going to be minus 90, leaving another 200. You know what? I think I am actually just going to focus on food for now. And, yeah, probably put it all into server stability. Because that's what's really going to save us time. And just like that, we're most of the way there. Just to head off any potential problems... I'm going to go check out the next Transformer, the next lowest one. Neither of them are particularly close to going, but I don't trust anything anymore. And it'll give us the opportunity to do some actual daylight exploring. Or, wow. At this rate, it's going to be sunset exploring, isn't it? But I feel like uh, I'm so stoked on the new base that I'm spending too much time here. And I'm not experiencing the entire rest of the game world. There's plenty I want to see. you, and now it's time to wander. And a, a lot of the time I find the best wandering is done by either getting up high on the hills and looking around, or by hugging the fences of the property. It's getting dark, but we do have our safety glow stick now, and I am kind of curious to know what carrying that around will be like. As it happens, we are both on the edge and high up on the hill. Hello? Oh, I actually remember this. It's like a borehole straight into the ground, but there's some light emanating from within. Hang on, this is this is one of those camera moments. I hope, I hope we don't completely lose that uh, light bounce. Uh, there's an electric generator here, no fuel in it. And some fuel here, and what are these? Looks like some kind of vest. Hang on. Jacket. Can I perhaps, uh, can I perhaps wear it? Oh, you're really not going to let me? Well, I'm still going to bring it back with me. And there's a note on the table. Day 41. We finally got more financial support for our mission. We can get deeper this time. But today, I noticed something interesting. The hole made one deep, bassy sound. Couldn't record it, and I don't know if it was a naturally made sound. But it sounds like a really deep metal squeak. This hole is pretty weird. Presumably you're in charge of this project and that's all you've got to say about this? Uh, well, there's a welding mask here. Some uh, metal scrap, a propane torch it looks like. And some tools, and a burger, and a drive. A drive which contains data. 
What are those? Some kind of like electronic tags? And where are they? Badge. But no info. Well, whatever this project is, it's definitely abandoned. But let's grab all these batteries. I could certainly use more. And I don't have enough space, but I will be back for this lantern. Now, it's at this point that I really feel like I should explain to you, for the sake of honesty, what my mindset is like going into this Let's Play. So, obviously, I've done a season of this before. I've been to a lot of these places. I know where I can expect, roughly, to find certain things. But it's also been heavily updated. And so, I'm approaching each of these things with an open mind, knowing that things might have changed, and things certainly seem to have been changed right here. There's something really, really weird going on with this thing, and I'm convinced that, if not now, sometime in the near future, there will be some way for us to get ourselves down there. You know what? I've got to try camping out here at 3.33 a.m. one of these days. As it happens, I can see one of the other Transformers while we're out here, so we might as well hit that and make it a full day. At least it means we won't have to worry about them for a while. But it is getting quite dark, and the longer I spend here, the more nervous that makes me. I am still convinced that there's something that stalks you out here, and nothing is ever going to be able to convince me otherwise. Those were distinctly footsteps I heard the other night, not pine cones. Imagine coming back here with garbage bags. We can make a fortune. Yeah, boop. And in we go. Another night back at work. And I could definitely, definitely use some comfort food here. The only thing missing from this is a big blanket like I have now to wrap around myself while I sit here. If anything, having something to cover my head with would distract me from the thoughts of what's behind me. Oh wow, okay, you finished anyway, but you actually, I think it rained a little bit while I slept, and you got pretty far off base. But let's uh, continue playing what we've got, and you just scared the bejesus out of me by finishing. Ugh. Stop that. Not that you, but you're just another one for, another one for the pile for now. In the meantime, oh god, let me look at the monitor from where I'm sitting, please. In the meantime, what are you doing? Uh, two signals level three, so we're, we're overqualified. Tango, Echo, Foxtrot. Well, the good news about that is that those are all actually very local. Oh no, Tango's way far out, but Echo Foxtrot are right near each other. And actually, if we hit Golf also in the line, I think that tower's down, so this works out serendipitously. Uh, SB target Tango? You know what? I don't think we've been there before. I'm starting to think what I should start doing is actually grab a bunch of these drives, put them with the old saved versions of things we've already sent out, and send them out as level 2 for extra money. I think that could be an interesting little racket. Oh right, and I'm a moron. The reason I didn't have enough inventory space to pick up that lantern is because I still have the drive rack in my inventory. So that's embarrassing, but you can go right there, and you can fit comfortably in there along with any others that we find. We will probably have to order them soon, though. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much my face the entire time, kid. This is one of my childhood favorites. There's a nightmare in my closet. That's the book that allowed me to trick my parents into thinking I could read because I had it memorized. It's still working to this day. It's a bit of an odd feeling, being willing to go into an unknown part of the park thus far in the dark. But that's the spirit of adventure. If that weren't our personality, 
why would we be here? And for somebody who has no voice lines and no in-game responses to anything, it's kind of funny how the community have kind of come up with a whole personality for Dr. Kell. Did you see some really weird lighting? I mean, there's the idea that he actually likes eating cockroaches. He's not fearless, but certainly more collected than you would expect of someone in his position. And he's got a strong desire to know more. And possibly an even stronger desire for alien cat girls. Now that we'll cross that bridge when we hopefully come to it. Now, instead of using the flashlight, let us try the safety glow stick. And there we go. Never runs out of juice. Actually is locally maybe better than the flashlight. I mean, it doesn't project as far, but it seems to be brighter. And it's more than enough to get up to these glitch double doors, so that's also cool. And I've just realized that when I'm out here, I've gotten so used to the new ambiance that it's really pretty unnerving when I stop hearing it. And that's not the only thing that's unnerving. What is going on here? Oh, I see. Okay, I think this was supposed to maybe be an archway. It's had one of its legs removed. What I should have asked was by what? Oh god, I am so stupid right now. I'm literally a horror movie protagonist. I don't see a pine cone or anything that could have made a sound like that. Was it just the benches glitching out? I didn't see movement. Alright, let's just get out of here. What am I even doing? Oh, no, don't get stuck, don't get stuck, don't get stuck. Oh good, you ramped it, preventing you from getting stuck. Just finishing up at Echo, and these things are really all within walking distance and in a straight line, so I don't even need to SB target anymore. If I can see it, I can get to it, and that's the right one. And we have Alpha, that's our tower back there, to guide us and act as a compass. I really love doing these, like, central ring ones because, I mean, if we hadn't started with Tango, I would just be doing all of this by walking. Now that that's fixed, uh, we can SV ping. Let's see who else is down. If there's anybody far away, Papa and Romeo, I'll probably leave those until morning. But other than that, let's cow all. Not that we're really hurting for download speed, but it never hurts to do it in general. And I've just realized that if I just leave, like, one of these doors closed at a given time, uh, as long as it saves this way, the duplicating door's glitch will kind of solve itself. But whatever, I am looking forward to more cozy times at my base. I hear you. I hear that stomping in the woods again. I am convinced. Uh, you guys keep making fun of me for this, saying that there's a million other explanations in-game. But I am convinced that you get stalked by a cryptid in this. <laughs> that one might have been a pine cone. When it's more sudden... That's when it's probably a pine cone. Sudden and loud! That was me running over a rock, but I'm on edge, so forgive me. Just goes to show that I need to get in here and close that door again. Okay, this tribe is done, and we are actually going to have quite a lot to listen to. Uh, which means even independent of our movie that we got on the screen, we're going to make this a whole movie night because I had completely forgotten about the one we found at the dig site. So actually I'm gonna take you out of here for now and just make sure that you are saved in your lowest form. Yep. 
And now we can give you a listen as soon as all this is ready. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sell that. I'm going to save it. I'm going to copyright it. And I'm going to sell it. Because look, it might sound unethical, but when you think about it, it's actually win-win. Because, best case, nothing happens and I get to make millions. Worst case, an alien finds out, gets angry that we're stealing their copyright, and sues us, thus proving their existence in court. Thus making me rich and famous. Oh yeah, I'd forgotten. This is actually eight megabytes. That's a fairly sizable file. And even in its upgraded state, this is gonna take a little while. We should actually now be in the process of sending out what we have since we have already completed the job. So might as well begin playing you again. You know, even earlier. And we're completing this job. Hope there's no minor typos in my thing anymore. Actually, wait, didn't I? I could have sworn I had found a signal. But I guess we need another one. Please tell me we got everything we needed. Package received. And nice job. All is good. Oh. Can hear stuff. I can definitely hear frequencies and electromagnetic wind. This data will be very helpful in our research. Well, I'm sure it will. Yeah, that's... This kid always finds a way to be me in any given moment. Except I don't have a babysitter tucking me in and telling me everything's cool. Then again... There just might be a way. But we'll get into that when we're slightly more rich. Okay, I'm so sick of these sensor errors and invalid objects. So we're going to be upgrading our success rate all the way to the top. There's no reason not to. And uh, detector frequency and sensitivity. Let's up the frequency. Up the frequency so there's just more things to find. Oh, and sensor speed can also go way up. There we go. I don't know if you'll be successful 100% of the time, but you'll be successful as often as you possibly can be. And you know, since we do have the entire day without having to go out, maybe we'll have another peek around in the walls. I mean, we definitely didn't see everything there is to see up there. I just keep thinking about that vent cover in my own room. Oh god, there is a vent cover in my own room, actually right opposite my bed. And every time I think about that, I now have to think about the fact that we never did find a body. If I'm going to get anyone to take me seriously, I need to look the part. So this will be coming down for now, although <laughs> I do like it and I'm sure I'll find a place for it. That means no hanging open cupboards, if we can even close these things. Do they not latch? That means cleaning up all this dirt and grime. That means making it look like we're somebody who cares about our job and our mental health. And bringing receipts. So we're going to have to start documenting. Before I try and tear this thing off the wall, I'm going back up into the main vent and photographing our friend's last hiding spot. So where is our hook? That's right here. Stop that, you. Uh, you've, uh, wait, what even was that? You weren't completing in that moment. Yep. And away we go. Uh, always startles me how quickly you rocket upward. Ah, uh, no, come on. Well, reloading a save completely screwed this up. 
I got that scary bug where it completely loses your inventory for a second, too. But let's try that again. Difficulty is getting it to hit just on that corner there. Yep. And there we go. Nope. We gotta make sure we have pictures of everything important. We gotta make sure that our entire journey is chronicled so that every one of the decisions we make, which may seem rash, ends up making sense to those who view the evidence. Because we cannot have any assumption that we will be there to make our case. Can't move you either. You know what? I bet this is the one that leads to our room. Some of you actually suggested that I should make a panic room up here in that spot, and that would actually be a pretty good idea, except that it didn't work out for the last person. Counterpoint, being able to go through that right there from our room would give us excellent mobility from any level of the base. So there's pros and cons to it, to be sure. All looks clear on radar. And we're gonna head out to fix Romeo and Papa. Which is good, because once again, we're heading out to corners of the base we have not yet really explored. And it'll give us an opportunity to just learn the lay of the land, which I I've severely neglected in favor of career advancement. But the whole point of career advancement is to enable yourself to neglect everything else. So what else are we doing here? Here's Romeo. So we have been in this neck of the woods, just not quite to this one. But I'll tell you what, there are some very interesting cliffs over there. Yeah, maybe we have? Wait. The lights behaved really weirdly just now. Didn't turn off the first time, seemed very bright. Are the light switches possibly duplicated as well? Our next target is Papa, but we are going down into this valley here. I think the far valleys and hills are where you really find the good stuff. There's some easter egg that I'm pretty sure was in like a way earlier version of this game down in these valleys. And I don't know what happened to it. Because I've, I've never found it again. I may have even seen it in a YouTube video. I may not have actually found it myself. I'm just following the far edge right now, staying high up and trying to see what we can see. And so far, a whole lot of land. But nothing really of interest. This place isn't as big as you think. That's what you come to find. But, I gotta tell you, you really start to feel like you're looking for a needle in a haystack whenever you're out exploring. And you're gonna spend so much time here that whenever you do find something, you're gonna be like, how did I never discover that? When I play this game, I look at how vast the wilderness is in real life, and think about how crazy it is, the things that must be hiding out there. Like I said, the things that must be hiding out here very, very well. That appears to be all servers online. Good SD cal aw. And enjoy 100% efficiency for a while. Yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to realize what's going on here now. I think the places where I left the lights on, the light switches are duplicated, as are the lights themselves. Oh, that is so funny. They fixed one dupe bug and introduced a much, much worse version. We're already running really low on fuel again, but since we're in the neighborhood, uh, let's top off on this and take a little walk down to that cabin and get some pictures there as well. And the funny thing about this thing is that it's just off the path. I mean, I'm thinking it must have been like a utility shed or something at some point, right? Then again, we have no idea how old this place even is. Maybe it was just here when this project moved in. I don't know. 
But still, I really get the creeps looking at this thing. Everything in this early game is a matter of priorities in my eyes. You've got to decide which purchases will make the most sense for the earliest and largest benefit. So my priorities right now are, first of all, getting the tools and essential upgrades. I think check, we've done that. The next thing is going to be cleaning the place up. So it's worth it to invest heavily in things like garbage bags and cleaning supplies. The next thing after that, I'm thinking, is going to be expanding our surveillance state. The next big investment, I believe, is going to have to be into cameras. There's a lot of places to watch. I definitely neglected this in the previous season, and I think maybe there's something to be learned. So many drives, so many garbage bag rolls. Which means we are good on all that stuff for quite a while, and I'm sure, I'm sure the garbage bags will pay for themselves. I'm pretty much doing anything but my job at this point, but they have such low expectations of me. The good thing about all the trash in here is that we don't even have to carry it ourselves. We can just toss it down what can loosely be referred to as an elevator shaft and recycle it all later. You're finished. And I think it's just about time to start turning the lights off once more. Right now, listening to you guys, the more faint ones, is probably the biggest argument for turning off that ambient background music. I liked it at first, but I think it's served its purpose by now. Well, I'm quite certain we'll be good on drives for quite some time. Uh, so now let's just do what we can. I mean, look, cleaning this place up is going to be a big job that's going to take many, many episodes. And this one in particular, I know, probably feels a bit unfocused. But this is something that we can do, like, very quickly, if we only have the resources. And now we have the resources. Honestly, finally having the means to clear out all these major, like, trash piles that are around the place... ...kind of feels, like, empowering in the same way as watching the mall clearing montage from the original Dawn of the Dead, doesn't it? I mean, by the end of this... <laughs> This place is just going to be full of these garbage bags that are kind of the same thing in a literal sense, but in practice mean progress. This break room is definitely the next major room that I want to clean out in its entirety, because I really think we can use this as like a cool home base or like decompression chamber after something spooky happens. I don't know, maybe we'll move a TV to here, maybe... Eh. Actually, there's probably a lot of things we can do. I'm definitely open to ideas, because this update gives us so much more freedom to actually customize the base itself. Well, that's all the garbage bags we ordered. And it would appear that the end result of all that was just enough to finish off the first floor and some of the stairwell. Wow. <laughs> uh, do we even do anything in here? No, no we did not. And this room still remains the creepiest in the base for me. Yes, even more so than the basement. I don't know, I just get bad vibes from it. And I have ever since we first showed up here. I mean, sure, there's the obvious, like, the eyes mean someone's watching. But it's just this dark, empty space above the elevator shaft that just doesn't have any apparent purpose. I don't know, there's just something creepy about it that I can't quite place even beyond that. Well, my finger actually got sore from picking up so many garbage bags. But now it gets to get sore from putting... how many garbage bags is that? 81 garbage bags up for sale. 
Oh, I see how we're able to carry them. They don't have any mass. Or I suppose B is probably volume, while W is weight. Oh, you know what? Maybe weight is what affects stamina and such, and volume is inventory space. I was never quite clear on that, but that would actually sort of make sense, wouldn't it? Look at that, it glows even more. Uh, it seems to slightly brighten the outer shadows of the room. And just making the glow from the glow stick that much more apparent as it bounces off all the walls. And falling off towards the back. There's our midnight drone. Uh, it's just so difficult, I think, to stay up to date on sleep and still do everything you want to do in a day. But then again, I have the same problem in real life, so maybe that's a me problem. The shadows always make me feel like a villain returning to his throne. Look at this. Those little glowing lights from the empty drives on the ground looking like rat's eyes skittering around. Oh yeah, I could get used to this. But this mystery thing that we found by the pit is now finished. A metal grinding or scraping sound, huh? I don't know what I'd call that, but that wouldn't be my first thought. Right, there's a planet here that we can already start processing up. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I'm panicking. I'm fumbling in the dark. I'm so on edge. This has started playing static. Anyways, we will have a new job now. Daily task, Papa India Sierra, and three level three. Now, the good thing about that many level 3s is that uh, we'll be getting a lot more for them, but I think we're also going to finally enact our plan of processing up some level 2s, and we've got just the surplus that I intend to do that with. So if we go to here and look at our database, uh, we can start copy, copy, copy. Let's queue up 3. Look at them. They, they just look like they're all my different color-coded minions, all looking up at me with their different tasks, like, what next, master? Will I sit in my green glowing radioactive throne? I've been here a week, guys. I, I've been here for one week. The sound of the TV playing in the background can be as much as much a hindrance to trying to keep myself calm as it can be a help. On the one hand, having the noise is certainly welcome. And, in fact, I used to actually require a TV to be able to sleep. But when it's played at low volume like that, everything that kind of peaks my hearing tends to be more of a jump scare than anything. It's like, I want it to be there, I want to know it's there but I don't want it to intrude on my activities, and, you know, sometimes it does just that. My god. See, it's in the downtime. It's in the quiet of the night. When you sit there and review all your pictures and think about everything you've seen and plan to do, and you realize that you're just such a small part of something that... Other people probably could and should tell you about, but then you wouldn't be doing your part if you knew. So you just sit here waiting to see what the next thing you're going to be subjected to will be, and hope that the grand design involves your survival. Or at the very least, hatch some plans for in case it doesn't. Okay, you're just about to be finished. Four AM. I'll never get over that.
You know, some of these signals make me really wish I had purchased the visualizer. Uh, maybe that could be the next thing. Hang on. Uh, if we go into modules, spectrogram visualization, it's only 50 credits. I think that will be our next thing. Uh, but right here, we've got four level threes. So definitely getting a good head start. And we are going to set this cap to two and start processing you guys up. All signals that have gone out before, but oh my god. <laughs> But all signals, which we can kind of double dip on, maybe even triple and quadruple dip. Whatever, I need some... I, I need myself some pizza. I also have a question. Can I eat while I'm holding something? I can. Ooh, and it even slightly helps with sleep. But that's one more gone. You know what? Photos are infinite. I'm allowed to use this for personal reasons, right? Let's take a flash. Although, <laughs> I have to say, knowing this developer, I'd be really concerned about the possibility to have things that only appear within the flash, and only at times when it's so pitch black around you that you can't otherwise see. Hello. What is that? I don't think upgrading the visualizer, even if we could, is actually going to do anything for that, but we are definitely going to pay special attention to this signal. Right, let's do that. Save. Save. Black hole. That doesn't look like any black hole I've ever seen. I mean, I guess I haven't seen a black hole. That's like a big part of how they work. Papa, India, Sierra. It's going to be a bit of a hike thanks to Sierra, but I think we can do it. You know, let's also try for a series first. I don't think I've ever used one of these discs to repair a server before. There we go. Blue? What does blue mean? Well, we can't interact with it, so I guess that means you're fixed. You know what? Do you guys want to know about the heart attack I just had? I was, like, I saw the screen out of the corner of my eye, and I saw, like, the terrain and, like, the background wiping by. Also, you are not set to shuffle. And to me, my brain registered that as, like as like the white stringy hair of a ghost girl turning around. So perhaps I need some sleep in real life right now. Did I just hear a footstep? Perhaps I do need sleep in real life. You know, I was gonna go look for these uh, towers. Maybe it's best if we just sit here and wait for sunup for a while. Oh man, I'm doing most of this to myself. You know this game actually gets, like, really, really crazy later on? You guys know that? The morning light certainly does add something nice to this whole thing, doesn't it? Oh, wow, another... signal we didn't even know about. Are you done? You are. It's just... It almost feels like a reward, doesn't it? When the sunlight finally starts to creep through here. You're still mostly illuminated by the glow stick. But there's just a tinge of warmth that gets added, and it's almost like a reward saying, hey, you made it. Oh, the storm is really getting this out of whack. Well, I hope you have brought your ponchos, because we are going out in a rainstorm. Which, no matter what anyone says, is still better than the night. You know what? We're not going anywhere until we refuel. <laughs> and because I've forgotten to buy any... It's actually a good thing we had that big find over this way. Come on, you. We gotta fell some great pine woods if we ever want to. Pine woods? I'm talking about <laughs> red woods. I don't know how volatile this stuff is, but I have never been more panicked in my life. Well, <laughs> maybe not never. I mean, there's a big pool of reference to choose from. Point is, you get 
all of that. And now we can go. Sometimes this game is just shenanigans. <laughs> oh wow, look at these gray overcast skies. The mist from the rain falling all over the place. And the ever-present danger of death. I absolutely would not put it past these developers to make it so that you have a very astronomically low chance of just being struck by lightning. Did I just see something ahead of me? I know I've been saying that the entire time. My brain almost registered it as like a deer running away at first. But all I saw was just like some small brown object like dip over the hill. Hmm. I mean, it's entirely possible at any given moment I'm just telling myself stories, but then again, you see so much of the same things that anything different tends to really stand out. Even if it is just something your brain created, but, well, that's the point. How do you know the difference? Oh, you know what? While we're in the neighborhood, there are actually a couple of things we can do. Uh, first of all, we can grab this lantern. Grab these, now that we know they do something. That sound came from here. And actually, it's only now that I realize... It's just the color of the sky, almost as if it goes straight through the earth, but in reality, probably just beyond render distance. We can probably use this generator for something, maybe even find a way to lug it back to our base and find a use for that. But for now, we'll just leave this here. I wonder if these are actually full of fuel? I mean, that would certainly be useful. But in the meantime, I'm actually thinking about heading back down to the gate. Well, uh, looks like I'm on the wrong side of the river. Let's just walk it. Easy now, 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 like a glove. <laughs> and now, we perhaps have the tools to deal with this again. Oh, it looks like... It actually looks like this gatehouse has been, well, abandoned for quite some time. There's still a clock down there. That door has been well and truly kicked in, and that might be a safe on the floor. Uh, so how are we going to go about this? Answer, hook. Maybe we can get up and above? Come on now. Oh, we can. And... There's one of these things right here, and I know where this goes. I was worried we had hit an invisible wall and made it impossible to come back. Yep. Well, we can come back down for as illogical as this is. But we cannot get inside. We are outside now. Well, this is a bit of a weird feeling. Certainly quite unprecedented. Maybe we actually can make our way to one of those fire watch towers. And one of you asked me to try. And by the way, leave it to this game to have getting out of bounds actually being part of the game. I know for a fact that there's Easter eggs out here, but you know, sadly the fire watch tower it seems is not one of them because I just hit an invisible wall. Still, the fact that the hard barrier is actually a soft barrier and the invisible barrier is actually the hard barrier. It's quite a thing. And kind of makes me question my place in the universe and if the whole framing of the game itself isn't a similar situation. Boy, that water sure does look nice, doesn't it? I think this should be fun. You know, just as a way of saying, hey, I beat you. I want them to know that I didn't always play by their rules, at least. Uh, but it doesn't look like there's anything pressed up against the grate there. What I really want to know now... Oops. Yeah, see, there's an invisible wall right there. Explain, game, explain. What I really want to know now is, can we grab this thing? Oh, no, we can't. 
there's got to be some way to get at this drive, right? And then again, maybe not. It doesn't actually seem to have a light on it. So, I don't know. I guess maybe not, but still, I think, I always think there's got to be something. Because in this game, there almost always is something. I never quite understood the purpose of this rock formation. It is unique. There's not really anything else like it on the map. But I've never found anything among the rocks. I've never found a reason to go here. Well, unless, of course, we encounter something like this. Oh, this hash. Yes, it is. I have seen... I have seen this before, but I don't remember what it does or why it's here. I do know that we can get in and find blueprints. Com wait, radioactive capsule recipe, gas welder, metal scrap, and compressed radioactive material. Where does one find radioactive material in this? And what is this? Are these... Are those glasses? Can we wear them? I mean, I'm pretty sure Dr. Kell already wears glasses. And tile. A strange metal tile has weird symbols on it. And of all places, sitting right on top of the guard booth. Well, how about, how about the one on the table? Yes, but you know what? It's in German, and I recognize those as coordinates. I think it's about time we called it a day. I've been recording for quite a while. My character is getting quite sleepy. This human fairy ring is something bizarre to me, since it doesn't appear to actually be connected via any roads or pathways. Wait, what is that? Oh! What does that sign say? Warning, restricted area, entry forbidden. Hmm. Actually, it probably makes a pretty decent ramp, depending on the angle you hit it at. But sometimes you do have to suppress the intrusive thoughts in this game. Speaking of fairy rings... Huh. Should I perhaps make a note? I have no way of really making a note of its location. I wonder if they explode, like, in response to each other. I've got nothing to leave here, though. Nothing I don't want to lose, anyway. Nothing I'd be able to easily spot again. All I can do is take note of what it's near. Hang on. Eh. India. It is just in the area behind India, facing away from the base. Actually, that wouldn't be a bad target for our surveillance network that I'm intending to build, would it? and put something on that fairy ring, since the other one is now nowhere to be seen. A server protection kit provides about two real hours worth of protection against malfunctions. Okay. It's really the instant fix that saves me, because two real hours, well, I guess it's something. But there are upgrades that will better and more quickly serve us. How did you get down here, Little Drive? A Little Drive belongs in the Little Drive pile. And now we're also going to take three of these level twos. So you, and you, and one more, you. And I think we're gonna get a ton of money today. Gotta love the fog and the glow. But we have a significant cash infusion, and I have many ideas for what to do with it. Very interesting, yep. Very interesting indeed. You know this is like world-changing information, right? Or at least in the right hands, which I had assumed you were. 
But anyway, here's what I was thinking. There's a lot of things we could get. We need to start building our surveillance network. So I'm going to order two good cameras to start us off. We want to start building this early and we want to invest in it regularly. We can also get the spectrogram visualization, which is just something we're always going to want to have. It, it just makes the process of listening so much more enjoyable. And beyond that, I'm thinking, hmm, just faster processing speed. It may be smart to leave some stuff around sometimes, but honestly, I'm at the point where I just want to get this stuff out of the way so that I can put everything towards the big point items. And the biggest point items of all are going to be, of course, the coffee machine, but also Kerfus. Not just Ker- er, sorry, Kerfer now, but I'm still gonna call it Kerfus. Kerfus three times. And I'm not just talking about the different colors, you'll see what I mean. Looks like our stuff is here. Now, is it just me, or is the drone a lot faster these days? I kind of get that impression at times. Let's fill you up, glug glug. Got so many of these things that have to be sent out. There we go. There's our sleep bars, our food, and our cameras. And I know right where the first one is going to go. The fairy ring, the pit in the ground, maybe that horrifying cabin in the woods. See, we have no idea what happened to this guy or what could have gotten him. No trace except for a single bone. So what better place to turn our eyes than inward? So we're going to drop this good camera on the ground, place it right across from where you were sitting, and activate. Maybe we'll lower you just a little bit, because I don't know what your field of view is going to be like. I'm not just using this place, perhaps a grave, as a guinea pig location. No, no, no. I like to think I honor the dead. And, you know, I, I do have to make myself seem better in the eyes of my overseers. But that doesn't mean that I can't still honor the fallen. I'll never get old Mission impossible down from there. But let's see how it works. There we are. Oh, and I'd forgotten we do have the ability to pan around. Uh, let's try turning on our light. There we go. It illuminates the space quite nicely. We are just going to slowly turn this place into Five Nights at Freddy's, aren't we? I believe there is, yes, there is also a night vision mode that works just as well. Oh, this is so exciting, you guys. Uh, but it is, it does seem to be draining battery. At a certain point, we're going to have to go replace that, aren't we? Maybe that's what we need the battery charger for, so let's keep that stuff off for now. It's enough that we can mostly see what's going on in there. And actually, now that I think about it, they mostly can't see me in here, right? Maybe that's wishful thinking. Hey, it seems that that black hole is done. Alright, well, let's turn on our visualization and see what this looks like.
So in instead of even commenting on what we just heard, imagine you're a person who has lived your entire life believing that we were probably alone in the universe, creating all these associations as you grow up, and then finally you do hear something from the vastness of space, a black hole in fact, but instead of being something alien, some attempt at communication, it's almost something angelic, what can't be mistaken for anything but a choir. Something so heavenly, but something so familiar. And then just fading to discordant nothingness. Something that may have been there forever, something that is maybe there only now just for you. And you have no way of knowing, but it somehow makes everything you've experienced up until now through its familiarity seem like it's more significant and like you know where all this is headed and what all this means. But there's no comfort in that. Actually, quite the opposite. Well, I'm all out of time. But if you like this video, Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.